Another one of the riders that you did not mention is it uh, uh, basically undoes what the voters in the District of uh, Columbia uh, voted for, which was legalizing marijuana. What's the White House <laughs> position on the fact that Congress, through this bill, would be basically undoing a democratic uh, action, democratic will of the people of the District of Columbia? <laughs> well, uh, just a little bit. Uh, I'll answer your question. As a general matter, it's going to be hard for me to take a position on every single writer. This is a pretty big one. I know. And, I, so and, I'm, and I'm prepared to talk about it, okay. but just yeah. as everybody else is sort of I won't ask about any other questions. So okay. I'll this. D.C. Uh, marijuana. Yeah, on this, on this one, you know, what I can tell you is that this administration has been a strong supporter of the District of Columbia getting statehood. Uh, and that's an indication that uh, we do not believe uh, that Congress should spend a lot of time uh, interfering with the, the ability of the citizens of the District of Columbia uh, to make decisions uh, related to um, uh, how they should uh, govern their community. Uh, and this was a, uh, a specific uh, referendum, I believe, that was on the, on the last ballot. Uh, and um, you know, I, we do believe that this kind of congressional interference uh, does interfere with this uh, home rule principle of which the President is strongly supportive. So uh, effectively, the President's position on this is that because the, the people of the District of Columbia voted to legalize marijuana, uh, Congress should not get in the way. That should go through. We should have legalized marijuana uh, in D.C. Uh, the president believes that, uh, on principle, that the district, that the that the uh, that members of Congress shouldn't be interfering in this way.